Good afternoon to all. Welcome to Philip Capital's Weekly Markets Watch. My name is Lucas. In this presentation, I hope we're talking about Singapore real estate sector outlook for 2014. I will be discussing the main theme within the market and highlighting potential impacts on some of the real estate stocks. From September 2009 to date, there are eight bouts of residential property cooling measures. This presentation slide has put together the latest rules and or policy for a residential transaction as of today. These cooling measures have cumulatively and simultaneously targeted the potential buyers, potential sellers and sources of financing. The most recent cooling measure introduced the total debt service ratio. In this slide, it is evident that this latest measure has impacted the number of residential transactions. In July to November 2013, the total number of transactions totaled a mere 52.4% of the same period last year. With the Singapore government actively monitoring the situation and taking an increasingly participative role, we expect to see another round of cooling measures in 1H2014. We believe further cooling measures to be incremented in nature to the current policies. In addition to the risk of new policy, we are expecting an overhung supply situation. Based on current data, there would be a total of 160,000 units launched over the next three years. However, estimated occupant demand will absorb about 70,000 residential units. We do not reckon that the trend of having fewer individuals within each unit will be able to cater for the excess supply. Hence, the remaining units would either be absorbed through investment capital or remain as inventory units. This will provide downward pressure on the residential prices. While the market outlook for residential is grim, we anticipate a good year ahead for the retail and hospitality sectors. We expect low unemployment and moderate inflation within the country to provide strong domestic purchasing power within the consumers. With the nation's macroeconomic fundamentals intact, we continue to forecast positive retail sales growth. In addition, we believe the number of tourist arrivals and tourist spending will continue to show sustainable growth, averaging 4-6% to over the foreseeable future. Hence, to reiterate, we continue to favour the retail and hospitality sectors over the residential sector within Singapore. Amongst the major developers, we favour Capital Land and Capital Land over City Development Limited. The driver for Capital Land would be its exposure to China Residential. The company delivered a stellar performance in 3Q2013 on the back of strong contribution from its China Residential component. We believe that its residential sites are strategically located and would continue to provide strong revenue growth for 2014. As for Capital Land, the company is currently at the bottom of valuation. We reckon the stock will start to realise its intrinsic value once there is a clearer and brighter outlook on the policy front. We continue to have a buy call for Amara Holdings and believe that the upcoming completion of its Amara Bangkok Hotel will once again attract potential investors' attention. Our target price for Amara Holdings is $0.74. Cents. Now for the Q&A session, Mr. Luke Lim has a question that is posted on the Facebook page. The question goes, what is the likelihood of China property bubble bursting? In our view, the China real estate sector is very fragmented. Looking at overall market indices and macroeconomic data, we believe that the luxury residential prices within top tier 1 cities will hold stagnant with some downside pressure on the policy front. However, the residential prices of top tier 2 cities will continue to see an increase in prices. With that, I have come to the end of the presentation. Thank you and hope you would tune in next week. Look forward to Friday's weekly market watch on CFD Market Outlook. We want to hear from you. Any questions, any comments on Monday's topic, please drop them via Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching this week's Market Watch. I am Lucas from Philip Securities Research. Tune in next week for more Market Watch videos. Thank you.